Leacock loved watching people, especially women seated in a park bench. He enjoyed the fun of locking eyes with the ones that seemed beautiful. The brief visual flirt gave him happiness. He knew the women doing it enjoyed it too. He was not into romance. How could you entice someone just sitting in a park? Love or romance had to have some element of spatial permanency to blossom. You have to meet often, say, in an elevator, or in the library, or go to the same class. Random visual flirtations is a bridge to nowhere. They will die like bubbles in the air. Rarely does it complete the full cycle. But it is not impossible though provided you are ready to do some unobtrusive stalking. Ivan arrived at the park bench. He had two sodas cans in his hand. He opened one soda can and put a white tablet into it. He offered the second can to Leacock and before that he asked him if he too wanted the white tablet. What on earth is that? Leacock asked Ivan. Well, are you interested in it or not? Ivan responded. Are you crazy? Leacock responded. Don't you trust me? Ivan asked. Man, it is not an issue of trust, it is an issue of being logical or should I say, bio-logical. Leacock replied in a surprised tone. He gestured the word bio in double quotes. You could be doing something harmful and I could save your life. Continued Leacock. Even if I eat a cockroach, I need to know it is one. Leacock was astounded that Ivan was telling him to drink soda mixed with something unknown. As the two were discussing about their trust issues, a sweet bell passed by and Leacock looked at her and locked his eyes with hers. She reciprocated in equal measure, and for a few seconds it gave him a romantic thrill. Those few moments seemed enough for Ivan to drop the tablet into the soda can, that he offered to Leacock. When Leacock opened his eyes, he found himself lying comfortably on a bed. He looked out of the window. He saw the darkness of space and a galaxy speeding past at light speed. The same beautiful girl he saw last when he was seated at the park bench came into the room. Her name plate pinned on her chest read, Gazelle. Ivan entered the room. We had no choice but to drug you. I know earthlings can be attractive but we have a mission to perform. Ivan's voice sounded authoritative. We will not stop in that enticing planet anymore for water or energy. I lost my cousin Romeo long time before. Ivan informed Leacock. That was not long time before it was just 500 years. Leacock corrected. Yes 500 years, but idiot earthlings with their caveman stuff, they call rockets consider it long time. Ivan clarified. We stopped for just a few minutes. Said Leacock. 120 years. Informed Gazelle smiling. In earthling years. Before Gazelle or Ivan could stop Leacock, he jumps from the bed and presses the warp button and is seen on the bench again. He sees Gazelle approaching but he does not look at her, his eyes are fixed at the soda can and what Ivan would do next. Hello? A voice said to Leacock, he turned around and that was enough moment for Ivan to drop the tablet into the can. Standing near Leacock was a girl more beautiful than Gazelle. Leacock could not resist the eye contact, he turned his eye, back to Ivan, he was still holding the tablet. Leacock was not going to drink it even if he was offered. When Leacock opened his eyes he was in the bed again. Standing near his bed was Gazelle and the beauty who had just said hello. Ivan, what the hell is happening? He shouted. We are wasting time on that godforsaken planet, said Ivan. I can't let you stay there. Leacock jumped up and rushed over to the warp and slammed his hand down on the button before Ivan could do anything. He closed his eyes. He opened them. He was still in the room, the galaxy flying past the window. He looked at Ivan, confused. Ivan just looked back at him smugly. Leacock hit the button again. Nothing. He just stood there. He hit the button again, and again. Ten more times. Nothing. What did you do? He shouted at Ivan who didn't respond. Meanwhile, dozens of Leacocks were sitting on dozens of benches, on dozens of Earths. One of them, already drugged by Ivan, began falling unconscious. One of them, catching on to Ivan's plot, refused the drink. One of them jumped up, grabbed the beautiful girl by the hand, and ran away with her. Leacock, back on the ship, 
stared at Ivan. Don't you see? said Ivan. You went back in time. You keep going back, it's just not you. Leacock didn't understand. The button works just fine. It's you who doesn't work. Every time you enter that warp, you go back to Earth. Or rather, a copy of you goes to a copy of Earth. Unfortunately for you, you're the original. Ivan began powering up the ship to leave Earth. Let me off of here, said Leacock. Nothing's stopping you, said Ivan. There are currently many, probably countless universes where you're free on countless Earths, gallivanting around. You're in any of those universes and Earths. But here in this subject starship you are with me. The ship began moving slowly, speeding up with each passing moment. Ivan, let me go. Ivan said nothing as the ship's drive powered up, and with the press of a button, left Earth, never to return.